Outside Lands 2011. It is the last day, and I'm very happy to say I'm here with Little Dragon. She's about to perform soon. Hi, Little Dragon. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Hey. When I go out, I got my own phone. Are you having a great outside lands? Are you excited to perform? Yeah, we're really excited. San Francisco is one of our favorite places, so it's good to be back. And that's awesome. So when you come here, do you actually get to like hang out here, or is it one of those things where it's like you come here, you play, and you have to leave? Or uh, it sometimes it's that way, but every now and then, you know, we have some extra time and you know we hang out. So what do you like to do in the city? Night. Um, just eat good food. There's tons of really good food. And just relax. Yeah. So last time I actually saw you perform was at Coachella with the Gorillas. So in playing large venues like this in Coachella, like I guess what's the difference between that and performing at your own venues, like in the independent? Right. Like, yeah. what's well, different? I mean, I think we like both. You know, festivals are usually a little more stressful with the you know setting up and no real sound check and stuff like that. So. That can always be really weird, um, but at the same time, you know, if everything works out, technically it can be, you know, the best thing ever. So, but at the same time, you know, I like the intimate thing with clubs and stuff. So, I like both when they're great, you know. When they're great, so you're kind of saying as if sometimes they're not great. Yeah, every now and then um, you have a strange club show that just feels awkward, and you see every like, now and then you uh -huh. have a weird festival show, but. No, that's just how it is. I mean, so yeah. What well, Coachella? You guys were amazing. The energy was so up, even though you guys were like this small, because I was so far behind. Oh, like cool. I could just feel the good energy from the vibe. Yeah, how was, was it working fun. with Damien from the Gorillas? It was really cool. I mean, he's um, he's a very creative person, and he has a bunch of ideas. And it was pretty similar to how we work, actually. He's just kind of trying stuff and experimenting and writing a little bit, recording it, seeing how it sounds, and keeping it if it's good, kind of. Yeah, that's cool. So your new album, Ritual Union, just came out. So are you, is this like kind of like a kickoff for it? Yeah, in a way. I mean, we haven't been playing that. It just came out, so we haven't done that many shows since it came out. So we're excited to play the new songs and, and see if anyone's heard them. Are you going to play them today? Yeah, for sure. Oh, awesome. I'm really excited. Cool. And I also have some kind of weird internet stuff to kind of like clear up. I know that, or on Wikipedia, it says that Little Dragon came from, or can you explain, I guess, where the, what Little Dragon, the name right, of the right. came from? Probably it said that it came from my fiery yeah, like, temper or something, yeah, something like, that. like yeah. that. But see, is that true? You know how things, how people say online, it's like, you don't know what's true or not. Um, yeah, I guess there's a bit of truth to it. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, uh, yeah, I think we all have a bit of a temper every now and then, but we try to keep keep the fire down when it comes to being angry and keep the fire up when it comes to playing live and, you know writing and stuff. Yeah, like harness that kind exactly. of like the, the passion fire instead of the mean angry fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Alright, well that's Little Dragon. Thank you so much for talking right, with us. You. Outside Lands 2011. Cool.